up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Tsunami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Behold, the most cringe of all of the extreme Super Battle Road obstacles. That is Peppy Gals. Now, looking at this team, you can already tell this is going to be a Universe 6 version of Peppy Gals. The reason why I'm doing that is because my first run-in against this event was pretty negative. And the reason why it was negative was just because your damage output is so scaled down and their stats have been raised up that the amount of time that it's actually going to take for Peppy Gals to kill on this event is pretty high. And it's going to take a very long time, which means there's going to have to be some skipping, some accelerating through the footage. So in order to help expedite that, I wanted to run a more scaled up team with a dual Dokkan Fest led STR Kefla. Because here, we're getting 170% across the board. So this, combined with the synergy of the Universe 6 Peppy Gals, I felt like this would be a good team. However, the problem with this team is that it does not have much in terms of nerfing the enemy. We actually don't have anything. We only have defensive boosts and dodging. And I believe one of the three stages that we're going to be facing is not going to include a pure Saiyan, which would be the prerequisite for most of these abilities to activate where they gain extra defense, they do extra super attacks, or they dodge and whatnot. So... Overall, I'm not feeling really good about this, but we're going to try this anyway. And like I said, if this fails, we will switch to the other Peppy Gals team. No, we won't. And I'm just going to have to sit through and get it done. It's probably going to take an hour. No, it's not. Hour and a half. I don't know. Whatever I'm trying to do. Imagine no iteming this with a free-to-play team. How long would that take? Actually, you know what? That would probably take like 10 seconds. You'd die. Trying to beat this with a free-to-play team with items would probably take a very long time. Anyway, let's jump in. And we do have... Man, none of our pairings are right. The two KFCs are not together, and the Kale and Khalifa TURs are not together. Okay, so we'll start off with the Khalifa dodging everything. So we'll have Khalifa attack Goku, just to optimize the damage. She will continue to dodge everything, no matter what, as long as we keep the Pure Saiyan on the team. So let's attack Tien. That's... wow, yeah. So KFC is looking really good, because we've got a full team of Universe 6 units, so... That's going to be good, and I guess we'll just have everybody attack Tien. Tien could still do some pretty crazy damage. These guys hit really hard. That's what makes Peppy Gals challenging, but on the previous iteration of Peppy Gals, on the regular version, you didn't take a lot of damage, which means all of your nerfing was being met with a far less intimidating response. Here, they can retaliate in kind and do some really bad damage to you. So ideally what you want to do is try to get everybody synced up and... Uh, stacked on defense, but we can't do that on the final stage, which is going to be a problem. So if we can get a Dokkan attack at the end, that would be nice. But even still, it's not going to be a lot of damage. Plus, given how long this is probably going to go, we I would not be surprised if we got a Dokkan attack somewhere in the middle of round two. I don't foresee it happening here, but I also don't see it happening on round three. So we took about 23k after all that stacking from the KFC. And we did some decent damage here, 74k on that hit, and we got hit two more times, okay. Alright, so now we've got KFC and then we've got Kale. Get the ball rolling a little bit more. So let's have everybody go after Tien. Tien should be taken out here, I think. And then we shall see where we go from here. Kale, yeah, that's gonna be a lot, that's gonna be really good. Keflas, man, they they do not they do not produce not on this not on this super battle road. I think it's gonna take three turns or four turns for Kefla to transform to Super Saiyan, and then another few to go to Super Saiyan two. And even then, all it is is self-serving stat boosts and I think dodge enhancing. That's it. We're not doing any sort of nerfing. There's no technical play here. It's just all one-dimensional. So in spite all of that. Ghost ushering. We couldn't even kill one guy. We wasted a. Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe K Kale might actually take him out. If Kale can take him out, that Dokkan attack happening in the third phase would actually be possible. Okay. So here's Kefla, Super Saiyan Kefla. And, uh. Yeah, once again, we don't have the rotations that we want. If I move that out, bring that in. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to have Khalifa go first, focus on the Goku, and I'm also going to try to bring the physical orbs down. If we can bring those physical orbs down, yes. Alright, so now Kefla, with six key spheres picked up, 
has a high chance of evading enemies attacks so that's what we want because when she uses her super attack she raises attack indefinitely and also lowers defense we'll have that happen on the tn so here we go tn is a goner that is a certainty and now kfc will do some attacking actually this is looking pretty good this is not too bad if we can ensure a turn one dokkan attack on phase three i think we're set did we kill tn i think we did I also like how we killed Tien, so there was no need to even dodge. Yeah, so Tien is dead. And now we're attacking on the... Oh my god! That crit did so much damage. I don't even think we're going to be able to get our rotations lined up before we start the next fight. That's actually going to be really bad. I don't want that. I actually need this guy to survive here. Can you chill? Oh my god, no. <laughs> don't. No. Can you chill, please? Ugh, this is going to kill. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. Let's use, actually, let's use a Whis. Let's use a Whis. Killing Gohan is priority number one. I don't want to pick up these orbs because I want to give Kefla at the end a high chance to dodge. So pick that up. And now we're going to give all of this to Kefla. Let's see how we do. We used an item, right? Yes, we did. All right, let's see how we do here. Kefla has a high chance to dodge now, thanks to that. And we dodged one. Good. All right. So now we will get the attack. Unfortunately, we surrender the ability to counter. But that's only going to happen if we got supered, which we would probably want to have just massive defense for that. So now that we're fighting pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans. Actually, hybrid Saiyans doesn't matter. It's just the pure Saiyans part. If we can get at least three stacks on defense, this unit will be able to hold its own. I don't think it's going to be able to hold its own against multiple supers, not yet. Not with, without the other KFC here. When both KFCs are together, they link, I believe, six out of the seven, yeah, six out of the seven links. The only thing that's missing is legendary power. Oh, we're getting hit with one, 150k. Oh my god, I just said, don't touch. Oh, thank god. We, we could not have survived that. We could not have survived that. Oh, that's so close. That would have been GG. Alright, so here's the high chance to dodge. Will it come in handy? Not there. Not there. Not there. Totally worth it. Fantastic. We have to double up. Whis combined with Aider. It's necessary because at the end, we've got too much damage coming in. I'm going to optimize the amount of damage that we deal here. So I'm going to have Khalifa attack Krillin. So we can get a good amount of damage. And then I'm going to have Kale attack Gohan. Gohan's gonna die. And then we'll give all of these STR orbs to Vegeta. Khalifa will attack Vegeta. I'm pretty sure Gohan's gonna die here because Kale will be attacking twice and I've given her maximized crit. So one of those two attacks should be a critical. And then there's always a possibility of a third super attack. Alright, so there's our double for Krillin. And we are at about 70, no, 65%, maybe 70% on the Dokkan gauge. We have to synchronize that perfectly with round three. No, we won't. All right, good damage, good damage. Give me a crit here, come on. Yeah, oh, that's not a crit. Oh, geez. Well, that's why we used another item. 89, cool. All of these attacks coming in, not a whole lot. Thank you, Aider. Are we still targeting Gohan? No, we're targeting Vegeta now. Jeez. All right, but next turn we got the KFCs together. KFCs are now together, which means we're going to do some really... Uh-oh. Can you dodge? High chance to dodge? High chance to dodge! Ugh. This is a full S... This is a full AGL turn. Look at this. But look at that now. Now they are sharing six links. Very, very nice. Very nice. So we'll have KFC attack. We want to save Vegeta. Vegeta needs to be around as long as possible. So we're going to go after Krillin. Krillin is the main target. After Krillin, we will go after Gohan. And then, only then, do we want to target Vegeta. And in the process, I should accelerate this Dokkan gauge. So let's do that. Now we're at about, I'd say, 75%. And we still have the benefits of Aider. 
Aider is all we need here because there's going to be just a ton of defense right here. Peppermint Blast on Krillin. No crits, please. Yep, good. We will get one more turn. I think we're only going to get one more turn. I think after one more turn, we're going to kill Vegeta. So next turn, we have to have three out of three on matching orbs. Even then, we're not going to get a Dokkan attack on the first turn, I don't think. All right, so KFC's done. Now the TUR version will definitely kill Gohan. And then, do we have any chance of killing Vegeta? I don't think so. Every single one of these units, their priority is additionals. Except for, I think, the LR. I think I gave the LR KFC some more crits. So there's that. Cool. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna keep going. That's what I signed up for. This is the last time that they're gonna be able to do this. They're not gonna be nearly as good on the final round. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The final round, you're gonna see an entirely different Peppy Gal squad. Not one single pure Saiyan. We will not be nearly as good. All right, here we go. Dokkan Gauge boost. Dokkan Gauge boost. Uh-oh. That's it. He's dying here. There's no question he's dying here. We are not getting another boost. Please stop after this. That'd be nice. Thank you. Stop. Stop it. No more. Cool. Actually, she stopped. Thank you. All right, Kale. I need you to not do a crit. No crit. Good. Additional is guaranteed. That can't be helped. I need you to not crit here either, and I need you to not do a third. Stop. Stop. Okay, cool. Good. Good, 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 good. Kefla won't do a lot, so I'm not too worried here. That's fine, and yes. Okay, cool. One more turn, one more turn. Let's let's push that Dokkan gauge more. This turn, he is not gonna survive. He's not surviving this. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. That's it. Next turn won't be a Dokkan attack, the turn after will be. That's the best we got. Now, who do we want to be landing that Dokkan attack? Because it's only going to be two turns, so that means whoever it is will not have had prep time to stack at all. So we would probably want to have Kale do it, I'm guessing? No, it's not going to be Kale. It's probably going to be these guys. It's probably going to be KFC. Actually, that might be best, because Mega Colossal and a high stack count, just based on how many Universe 6 we have, that actually might be good. So, this is it. This is where we are put to the test. Oolong. Then we actually let's just use a yeah let's just use a Dokkan attack. I mean not Dokkan attack. Let's use a Ghost Usher. Boom. Okay. Now we'll do this. We'll attack. Let's attack Roshi. And then we're not gonna pick up the AGL orbs because that would create the Dokkan attack. We want to save that, so let's use the physical, and let's do that on Yamcha. So next turn, we will get a nice, crispy, ultra super attack with KFC, and we will be fine. No, we won't. We won't be fine. I take that back. We will do the damage that we were expecting to do. We'll have to target Yamcha, and then we'll just have to see how we do. Also, the advantage of using Ghost Usher here is that everybody can stack a little bit now so that we can get the ball rolling, so that when they actually start to, you know, land some hits on us, we can tank some of it. So I think on the next turn, we will use a Whis just to make the damage a little less painful. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So Whis is now in play for two turns, which means next turn, Kaelin Khalifa can stack yet again. And we will have everybody pile on Yamcha. Yamcha is a goner. So we've got 778,000 attack inbound. And what does KFC's Ultra Super do? Uh, same thing, Mega Colossal. Raise defense, cause Mega Colossal. Okay. So let's do that, and then let's do that. And then we'll have Kefla. Ooh, we got a big attack coming in for Kefla. What's her, what's her numbers looking like? 180,000. Not that great, but it's okay. Here we go. 
This is whatever. <laughs> sure. Cool. 74k. Have fun with that. Have fun with that, buddy. K F C C C C C C. How much are we gonna do? I'm gonna say one million. 1.5. 1.5. At most. But they are still gonna attack, I think, multiple times. It's not gonna be the same as before because there's no pure Saiyan to like refresh and restart the passive. But we'll do. Oh my god. Wow! Okay, that was half, but <laughs> I still did. That was good! You know, I came into this really expecting this to go poorly. And instead. Universe 6 knocked it out of the... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Stop! Oh, no! Oh, no! If Oolong attacks, are we gonna die? No. No, we're not gonna die. We're not gonna die. We have Whis active, and we have Kefla at the end. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, we're attacking Oolong. Okay. But yeah, Oolong's not gonna attack us. Yoroshi already went, so we're safe. Whew! Oh, <laughs> that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. So that's how it's done, folks. Pretty easy. Let's have Kale go. What are their stats looking like? Kale's got 150. We're fine. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Kale's got 150. And we healed everything back. Uh, we don't even have to use an item, honestly. We don't have to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. There. No, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. Just, just imagine. The last attack, Roshi kills me. Can you imagine how angry I would be? Get the Black Rift! Son of a bitch! Alright, cool. I would like for it to not come to that. Like, I hope we can kill him before that. But just in case, it might as well. Like, what are we saving? One Princess Snake? Not a big deal. Who cares? Wait, what? You didn't attack a second time? Oh, you gotta have a Pure Saiyan's enemy. Is that it? I thought I was having Khalifla on the rotation enabled that additional super attack. I'm so used to having these guys fight a pure Saiyan that it's weird when they don't do it. Here's the attack. Oh, she dodged it. <laughs> what? Man, y'all are making me look like a fool over here. Alright. He's not dead, but good damage. Oh, wow. Really good damage. If this is also a crit, he could be... Nope, not dead. Next turn he's dead. Okay, let me take a look at this. So, Kale and Khalifla evades when there's... Okay, so she evades when there's a Pure Saiyan or Universe Duel Saga. Kale launches additional super when there's... Okay, 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 okay. But guards all attacks when Khalifla's attacking. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. And then what does she get? Has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there's an ally who includes. Okay, I see. I see. Alright, well, there you go. Now we're done. He just supered. He's not going to super again. We've got all of this stuff headed his way. If we lose here, we deserve it. Let's end it. <laughs> Part of me really thought we were going to get supered. And I'm sure like five of you right now watching this were praying and hoping that Roshi supered me. I know, I know you wish that. Done. Really? Okay. Guess the TUR is going to do it. TUR gets the honors. Cool. And with that ends Peppy Gal's Super Battle Road. Now I know what you're thinking. That's not the best team to run. You're right. It's not. Don't run this team unless you've got a good amount of items. And unless you've got a TUR for that LR KFC. Because if you don't have that, your other option is to bring the Int Super Berserk, not Berserk, but Super Saiyan Kale, which isn't great. Another option would be... I think that's it, actually. Let me go take a look. What other options would we have if we did that? Peppy Gals... Universe 6. Okay. So we'd run Kefla. Then we'd run KFC. Khalifa, Kale. You'd want to run this one or this one. Either one works. Oh, then you could bring the physical one. Yeah. So you do have other options, but it's just scary, man. It's scary. I brought the TUR because I had both, and I've 
I've wanted to run both together for a long time. I've always been doing that, so yeah, um, it's it's pretty scary. Plus, if you really felt ambitious, you could bring the Super Saiyan kill, but half those not good. Anyway, don't do this. <laughs> don't do that. You want to run? You want a good Peppy Gal team? I'll show you a good Peppy Gal team. Here's a good Peppy Gal team. For those of you wondering, if I don't have Universe 6, how can I run this? Here you go. This is how you do it. Boom. 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 Right here. Oceanus. If you don't have that, though, I'm, I'm going to get rid of her. Chi Chi. Mai. Uh, what are some other good ones? Bulla is good. And Videl. Videl is excellent. There's your Peppy Gal squad. This team can definitely get it done. The only issue is timing. It's gonna take a long time. So if you're gonna do that, buckle in. It's gonna be a long and bumpy road. Get it? Road. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments your thoughts on Universe 6 Peppy Gals. Have you tried it? Are you gonna try it? Am I a whale for having a TUR for that KFC? Let me know in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you wanna see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.